Hey, today I want to show you guys how to get this axle nut off. We're working on a 2000 Honda Accord, but this will also work on uh, Ridgelines, Odysseys, Pilots, your TLs, your CLs, uh, your MDX, if I hadn't said that already. So right here you have a 36 millimeter nut. You need a 36 millimeter socket. You can uh, you can buy these at Lowe's. I'll put a picture up of, of one right now. I know CM, some BMW applications have a th uh, 36 millimeter 12 point. Uh, and you can buy a 36 millimeter 12 point at Lowe's. I think it was less than 10 bucks. So before you jack up the vehicle, before you start doing anything else, you want to break this axle lug nut free. As you can see, they uh, push that part of the axle nut in with a chisel. So we need to open that up a little bit. Uh, you can get like a small screwdriver. Okay, I'm just going in there underneath it, lifting it open. Give me some room to work. And get that nut loose now if you don't have a center hub cap uh, you can always take the wheel off and then stick a screwdriver down into the rotor between the two rotors and the fins and hold the axle that way but uh, if you do have a center cap you can remove but you can't get to the center cap go ahead and take off your wheel pop that off pop off your center cap put your wheel back on put three lug nuts on and then you can uh, achieve the same result what I'm about to do right here so put your 36 millimeter nut on. I have a 40 inch three quarter breaker bar here that I got from Grip Tools. I'll put a link down in the description below. Righty tighty lefty loosey. You're gonna make me stand on this thing, huh? Put the emergency brake on this car. Whew. No. Sheared off my Harbor Freight three quarter to half inch reducer. <laughs> oh man, I picked this up from Harbor Freight for less than oh what the whole set was. It came with three. This reducer was six dollars, I think, maybe. And I put a little bit of pressure on there, and it snaps right off. You know the parts inside the socket, man. Piece of junk from Harbor Freight. What a joke. Harbor Freight, you're going to review about this, dude. My buddy Dennis is going to be pleased with this one as well. So there you go. There's a tool review from Harbor Freight on not to buy their half-inch, or not to buy their three-quarter to half-inch reducer. Because it just breaks. It breaks. All right. So I'm going to have to bust out my half-inch, <laughs> half-inch Harbor Freight breaker bar again and see if this one breaks get my cheater bar here make sure that's good and tight come on baby Woohoo! let's heat this nut up let's heat our nuts up Tossing the heat on the nut. Get that to expand. Do this for about a minute. Oh my goodness, no! <laughs> Dennis, you're gonna appreciate this one, buddy. <laughs> Dennis is my good friend and he always preaches to me about how Harbor Freight sucks. <laughs> so, check it out. Sheared it off right there. Sheared it off. Stuck inside the socket. <laughs> oh. What kind of good, what good are these breaker bars? If they can't even hold up to the to the strenuous activities of Bundy's garage, you know what I'm saying? I have another breaker. I have another Harbor Freight breaker bar we could trust test out. That'll probably break too. Oh my goodness! I can't get this thing off. Well, let's try one more thing. I'm gonna try my impact. We'll see if that does it. It may or may not. I'm suspecting not, but I gotta try it. So I have my dad's Craftsman half-inch impact gun. 
Let's see if I can break it loose with this. Ooh, that's a good little gun. Ah, that's really hot. Okay, so next thing you need to do is put this back on until this outer part is flush with the axle and then take a hammer and, sm and smack it back in because you want to break that axle loose from the from the inner race, inner hub before anything else. And don't worry, there is enough room in the axle for it to move just a little bit. You just need to make sure that the sink can get loose. I put it. I put the axle nut on there because I don't want to mushroom out the head. You can also take a chisel right here and a drift punch, smack it right in the middle right there because if you have to turn this in for a core, then you don't want to mushroom out the end of the, the end of the spindle of the axle. So get my hammer. You go ahead and just hit in the center. We got the axle nut loose. We broke two, two Harbor Freight tools. We have to get this axle loose to get out of the hub. And I want to do that before I take anything else out because if you can't get this out, you're dead in the water. So there you go, guys. That's how you take an axle nut off that's stuck on a Honda. If you have found any of my videos helpful, please consider subscribing to Bundy's Garage on YouTube. Questions, comments, concerns, you can reach out to me at bundysgarage at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter. And like always, I'll keep them rolling for you.